warm December Saturday morning sitting cross-legged in front of our small TV. Tom is chasing Jerry. Jerry runs into his hole. Tom crashes into the wall. A fierce buzzing startles me. Men with white helmets and orange chainsaws prune the pine tree near our apartment window. I look at our gifts at the corner of the room, scattered. Tatai walks out the door with purpose. The man and he f speak in forced English. Tatai returns with a large branch. The familiar ancient smell of green floods our two-bedroom apartment. He props up the branch on the wall in the midst of our gifts. He wipes the needles clean with a wet rag, removes the small cones. I ask about the bundle of twigs snuggled at the bottom of the branch. He tells me that it's a bird's nest, that it's good luck. Our tree in the Philippines was 10 feet tall, but like many things, we had to leave it behind. Nanai tells me when I'm old enough to care that she misses Lola and Ninang Odet, Ang Hangin sa Magallanes, every day. Nanai, a nurse of 20 years, can't find a job. Tatai works overnights stocking a Miramar convenience store 30 miles away. Yet, Tatai woke up early today, decorating the branch with ornaments, trinkets found on the street, a fuzzy reindeer with green pipe cleaners as antlers, a plastic yellow M&M figurine. He arranges them as carefully as he makes our bologna cheese sandwiches for school, soft as his fingers combing through my hair when I'm sick, precise as a bird making a nest. Matt Villaluz. Thank you.